Hello. So I'm not making you do anything now, but instead, I wanted to talk about what we all came here today, which is happiness. And when I talk about happiness, I like to start with talking about the things I like to do. And one of those things is I like to draw. So I love to draw, and drawing helps me remember and preserve on paper all of these memories that I have um, experienced in my life. Drawing also helps me um, tell the people that I love I love them without having to really say anything. So when I lived in Spain, my favorite um, Catalan holiday was the Feast of St. George. And during that day, the streets would be lined with people selling roses and books, and naturally I was all over that holiday. And I couldn't tell my friends um, how much I loved them because at that point my Spanish wasn't very good at the time. So instead I drew them. And I think being able to communicate something, um, a, a particular emotion using something other than text was something that was very powerful. Drawing also helps me tell strangers how much I appreciate them. So one of my projects another project, I draw um, people and I just give it to them anonymously to tell them how much I appreciate the work that they do, such as the two guys who um, were having, who owned an ice cream truck back in New York City. Drawing also helps me document the passage of time. <laughs> but at one point in my life, I wanted to explore happiness in a more concentrated place. And this journey led me to Iceland, a country that has consistently ranked among the happiest nations in the world. So I asked these happy people to draw what made them happy. After I got 100 sketches, I went back to New York where I continued to receive submissions from people from all over the world. And I have had some insights that I want to share with you all. So the first is, Happiness can be something you encounter every day. It could also be a specific person whom you particularly care about. It can take the form of Godzilla. Happiness can also be a sense of place, such as the city where you live in. It can be a place you go to from time to time. It could even be a place that's imaginary. Happiness can be a specific social interaction, like something you do for people could also be very metaphorical, like the signal of new beginnings while the girl was sailing in a piece of cheese. It can be the act of letting go. But sometimes happiness is very abstract and is difficult to draw. And that's the problem with happiness. It's a bit paradoxical. Things are altered by the act of observing. And so if you keep asking yourself, am I happy, am I happy, am I, ha am I happy? It's often difficult to get an accurate answer. So for Draw Happy, in addition to the sketch, I asked people to write down um, what they were doing at the time of drawing and who they were with at the time of drawing because sometimes the act of um, asking yourself what makes you happy is often contextual and changes from time to time. Also, I think happiness shouldn't be a goal, but more of um, a journey, or it's instead of saying um, what makes you happy, perhaps also, um, it's also a good question to ask yourself, it's how you're happy that matters. And finally, happiness can be cultivated. I'd like to think of everything um, that I made you guys do today from hugging, drawing on clouds, smelling a memory, 
eating a poem, all of those things place you at the center. And I see your senses as a framework for being able to pay more attention to the world around you so that each day um, is filled with a little bit more wonder. And I hope you leave this conference a little bit more empowered, that you can see the world as something not just to live in, but more of a place where you could do a lot more things in so that you could reach your potential even further. And at some point, you all draw what makes you happy. Thanks very much.